Welcome, folks, and what better way to celebrate the end of the week Friday night basketball on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analyst, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. And the Eastern Conference has been great to watch so far. Here's how things are shaken up midway through the season. You look at the Cavaliers, their efforts so far have put them fifth in the conference with plenty of time left to move up. And of course, the Wizards, they're a ways down in the standings. Well, I think for the Cavaliers, you have to acknowledge that they've really hung tough this season, avoiding a lot of the bumps in the road that other contenders have gone through. You know, resiliency has been crucial for this team. Anytime it looks like they may start to drag a little bit, they've picked it back up and stayed in the hunt. And now the Washington Wizards starters, Avdia and Kuzma at the forward slots. Tyus Jones is out there with Kispert, and it's Bagley in at the five spot. And for the Cavaliers, Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Max Struess is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Okoro in at the three slot. Mobley. And you look at what the play-in tournament has accomplished for us. Even for those teams who started slow, there's still hope of reaching the postseason. You know, there is B.A., and so it's put a greater emphasis on winning regular season games. What it has done is extend the competitiveness of the regular season almost to the very end. But listen, history tells us the champs eventually almost always finish top three in the regular season. Mobley outside. Pass to Okoro. Back to Mobley. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. On the wing, Jones. Guarded by Garland. Really left him alone that time. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. We played just over a minute here in the first. Mobley outside. Pass to Allen. Here's Okoro. And he lobs it up top. Allen can't get it to go. It would have been a sensational alley you finish. <laughs> Tough to nail the timing of that long pass. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Kispert. And the Cavaliers with possession here. It's a three-point game. They defeated Washington in their last game. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Buries it from three. Well, this is what you get when you get Darius Garland off the basketball. Very capable in the catch and shoot. Here's Jones. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. For Cleveland, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Garland looking around. And stolen by Jones. Here's Avdia. Banked it in off the glass. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. And it's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Trailing by two. Now if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Pass to Okoro. Fires for three. Rebound Washington. A pretty solid aspect of Isaac Okoro's game is his defensive presence. It is, B.A., and here's the key. The offense is starting to come. This guy has invested time into becoming an elite two-way status type of player. You have to put in the work to get the results. Talk about hitting the ground running four for five to start. And it's Garland with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Pass to Okoro. Allen outside. Mobley outside. Now Garland. Shot clock at six. Oh, they pick off the pass. Stolen by Struess.
Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Back to Mobley. Here's Okoro. No points yet. And here's Struess outside. Knocks it down from distance. Well, Coro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. The Wizards with a lead. Jones with the ball. Giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Stolen by Struess. Fast break, Cleveland. Garland for three. Rebound, Washington. Outplayed in their previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Cavs. Honestly, they were just outclassed in that one. We thought it would be a tough night for them. <laughs> and it was. Sometimes it's about the talent disparity. And it would have taken a massive effort for them to even be competitive. And it was nothing close to that. Well, we see the young star talent for the Cavaliers, Doris, but where do they need to improve? I think the big challenge is making sure you have quality depth. The East obviously has changed. It is so much tougher than it had been in the past. The back end of that rotation is proving so significant to your success. The first free throw is good. This is hard to believe, Grant. But the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. And Mobley throws it down. Well, we know this. Playing above the rim is a big part of Evan Mobley's game. The Wizards have gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Jones against Garland. Pass to Abdia. And here is Kuzma. Six to shoot. Outside Jones. Over Garland. And again, Washington, no good. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Mobley passes to Garland. Here's the Kuro. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Washington has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Kuzma. Here's Kispert, covered by Struess. Now here's Bagley. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Doris, the Wizards have some star power, but they're kind of stuck in the middle of things. B.A., unless you have top free agents coming your way, it is so hard to get over the hump. It's about drafting well. Your player development has to be next level. It is not easy for the Washington Wizards right now. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. The Cavs trailing. Now Garland. Playing Washington. He was nearly unstoppable. Allen a screen. 13 feet out. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. There's nothing like a big man with agility. Jared Allen operating well in the pick and roll right now.
And here's Jones. Kuzma outside. Jones with a screen on Mobley. Kuzma, the pass to Bagley. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. For Cleveland, they've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Allen, the pass to Garland. Back to Allen. It's tipped. Jones with the ball. He's picked up by Garland. Pass to Kispert over Struess. That one's good from Kispert on the assist from Jones. Jones has got three assists tonight. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Wizards. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far, really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Now a timeout called by Washington. Levert's checked in for Cleveland. Poole, he's checked in for Washington. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Jared Allen. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. The Wizards have got six of eight shots to go. Outside Jones. Pass to Kispert over a Coro. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. Cleveland has gone two for four from range to start things off. Back to a Coro. Levert with the ball. Poole picks him up from deep. Struess. And it's Bagley with the rebound. The Wizards with the lead. Here's Poole. Drives to the hoop. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And <laughs> sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hang it up there like that. Levert goes against Poole. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. And taking a look at the last 10 games of the season, here are the small forwards who have been assertive on the boards, really throwing their weight around when shots go up. And you look at Avdia, one of the game's elite rebounders, second in the league. And their work on the glass plays such a key part in pretty much all of their games. I mean, they play bigger than other small fours in this league. Yeah, this is a very physical group of players, and all with a great nose for the ball. They don't shy away from getting down low and pounding the boards with the big guys. In fact, they just thrive on it. Poole, the pass to Jones. Clock at six. Pass to Abdia. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Poole, shot is off. For Cleveland, they've gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. And when discussing Jared Allen, Doris, what's the thing you like most about his game? Well, obviously the defensive end of the floor, B.A. Here's a guy that's going to try to contest absolutely everything at the rim. He gets after it on the backboards. And there's this delightful appreciation for just living in the moment that Jared Allen embraces. I love his personality and his game. Here's Poole. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Oh, it's stolen by LaVert. On the break. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. You've got to 
to stay with Levert in transition. I'll tell you, if you let him outrun you, it's going to be a long night. The Wizards have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Cool with the ball. Now Levert defending. Stolen by Struess. Fast break, Cleveland. Washington with a rebound. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Poole. Bagley, a screen on Levert. Out to Bagley. And here's Jones. Kispert on the wing. Six to shoot. That three's off the mark. Cleveland has gone two of five from deep. Jones against Levert. They double him with Bagley. A different look for Cleveland. Niang comes in for Okoro, and Jerome subbed in for Struess. Here's Jerome, defended by Jones. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. Niang, that's good. And it's a tie ball game. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. Jones with the ball. Now guarded by Mobley. Rejected by Allen. But Jared Allen, a rim protector at its finest. What a block. Levert passes to Nia. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Here's Poole. Pass to Bagley. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Levert, that's good. Boy, there's a fluidity to his jump shot. Karis Levert coming through for his team in the mid-range. Jones, the pass to Bagley. Jones in the post. The shot won't fall. Good D by Mobley. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul of the game. Jones, he's checked in for the Cavs. Garland comes in for Mobley. And the Wizards making a change here. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first. Pass to Jerome. Back to Garland. Here's the floater. And the layup is up and in. Garland's got five points. Well, that's how you use the floater. Darius Garland gets into his bag. If they play this right, they can go two for one. Yeah, they really have to work the clock right now. Here's Koulibaly. And the mistakes are piling up for them early. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They lead by four. They came away with a victory in their last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. Hey, their activity on defense was terrific. It was just full effort at that end of the floor and a bunch of blocks to show for. The best defenses do a great job of protecting the rim. That team did not give an inch. They defended and contested every shot. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Free throw good. Pool. And both free throws good for Pool. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Here's Jerome, guarded by Poole. Niang a screen. Jerome passes to Niang. He buries it from three. Niang's got his second bucket of the night. And Poole puts up a deep three. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And that does it for the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead, leading by five.
And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Cleveland. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Darius Garland is out there with Ty Jerome. Then there's George Niang. Then there's Damian Jones. And it's Levert in at the small forward position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Here's Shamit. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Outside Jones. All sorts of time. And it's Poole with a rebound. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. Kuzma drives in. Yep, that one goes. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, Darius Garland has the talent to set the table and get his own. Coach Bickersap said, quote, Darius is really good first and foremost. He understands when it's time when we call his number and when it's time to get the other guys involved. We've been able to depend on him, and he's proven that the moment is never too big for him. Brian? All right, Allie, thank you for that. Good stuff. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball after the basket by Washington. Levert passes to Jerome. Here's Niang. Washington with a rebound. You can't ask for a cleaner look than that. He just couldn't deliver. Pass to Koulibaly. Kuzma outside. Three-pointer. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Here's Jerome. Shot clock at six. Garland with the ball. This one for three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Shamit. Guarded by Garland. Pass to Holmes. Here's Shamit. The putback. The rebound by Garland. The Cavaliers leading. To the middle. There is a guy who is not shy about sharing the basketball. If you are open, Darius Garland will find you. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Now here's Cole. Last game, 26 points for him. Putting on the Jets, Jordan Poole lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Poole's got six. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's Garland. Rebound Washington. Kuzma's got seven rebounds in the game. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Shaman. Jones with the block. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Garland, the pass to Jerome. Now here's Garland. Tight defense on him. Pass to Niang. Niang a screen. Wide open. 
Jerome, that's good. And the Cavaliers lead by three. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now a timeout called by Washington. For the Cavaliers, Okoro is checked in for Levert, and it's Struess in for Jerome. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Kispert comes in for Shamit. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Poole against Garland. Back to Pool. It's stolen by Garland. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Stripped it away. Pass to Pool. On the wing, Kuzma. Another shot. And that's two points on the layup. you got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Well, Denny Avdia was born in Israel, where we don't see many NBA players hail from, Doris. No, B.A., definitely a rare sight. He is just the fourth player from Israel since 2010 to debut in the NBA. This is why we love the game. It has such a worldwide reach. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mobley's checked in. That's good from Garland. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. He's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Holmes finds Kuzma. Six on the shot clock. Oh, and Mobley with the block. That's about reach, folks. The length, the athleticism, the timing of Evan Mobley. Okoro passes to Garland. Here's Okoro. Pass to Garland. Nieg outside. The three is up. And another miss by Cleveland. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Good on the shot. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. And the Cavaliers with possession here. It's a three-point game. Outside Struess. Pass to Niang. Lots of room. Good. He hits the jumper. Niang's got his third basket of the night. Well, good vision from the inside and kicking it to the perimeter. Here's Kispert. Give him eight points now. And here is Kuzma, defended by Niang. Kuzma down low. Niang's there. That one falls. Kuzma's got six points. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. Mobley is screen on Poole. Garland, the pass to Mobley. And Holmes with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. 
for the Cavaliers. Jared Allen comes in for Niang. And Karis Levert is subbed in for Garland. On the wing, Struess. Defended by Jones. Four on the clock. Here's Levert. The rebound by the Wizards. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. They retain possession. Left side, Jones. From outside the arc. And the three-pointer goes. He's got five. Listen, everyone knows what kind of shooter this guy is. Just his presence on the floor creates space. Levert with the ball. He had 10 points in the win against Washington. Allen finds Mobley. Outside Struess. The three. And it's Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got four rebounds now. Pass to Kispert. Outside Jones. And here's what the Washington Wizards schedule looks like. On Saturday, the New York Knicks come to town. Kicking off a homestand for them. And then Monday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Oklahoma City Thunder. One way you could look at this difficult stretch against some of the best in the league, it's a tremendous chance to prove to the league just how good your team is. It could provide a huge statement. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. hits them both so it's the Cavaliers now now Struess he's coming off a 10 point game against Washington terrific all around effort he did a great job of creating for himself and others Allen the pass to Levert back to Allen Mobley outside five to shoot the three from Okoro pure from three point range Okoro's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Jones against Struess. Bagley passes to Jones. Uses the glass on the layup. Jones has got seven points here in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Mobley outside. And Doris, the feeling around the league is Evan Mobley could win Defensive Player of the Year multiple times. You know, P.A., I think that's on point. And the reason it is is because his effectiveness is not limited to shot blocking. This guy is excellent both on the ball and in help situations. Yes, he blocks a ton of shots, but the fact that he alters even more is as impactful. And he does this all at such a young age without getting into serious foul trouble. Look out, league. Evan Mobley is going to get better and better. First one falls for him. Evan Mobley is truly a coach's dream. You get the substance and the style. You get the effort and the skill. And this all from a skinny seven-footer. Boy, his frame's going to fill out, and the game becomes more dangerous. Washington has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Right wing. Here's Koulibaly. No made baskets yet. Six to shoot. Takes a three. And again, Washington with a triple. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Allen. 
Levert outside. Allen a screen. Down low. And so the ball out of bounds. Bagley touched it last. And while we have a moment, let's see some of the contenders for this year's three-point contest. Some of the players who have a shot to make the final cut. Hey, not a bad list of shooters at all. And really, with how many threes we see in NBA games these days, some of these games have become three-point contests. Well, you look at Struess. He's right on the cusp of securing his spot in the three-point contest. So I hope those votes keep pouring in because he's a guy you'd love to see in the mix. Yeah, if he can make it in the door, you know he will do everything he can to win the whole thing. And it'll be a lot of fun to watch. And this year's contest is really shaping up to be one to remember. Plenty of dead-eye shooters on that list so far. And lots of guys have a three-point shot now. But this list is really the cream of the crop when it comes to putting up long-range bombs. Washington has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Garland against Jones. Pass to Kuzma. Avdia from outside. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Garland finds Struess. Out to Mobley. Back to Struess. Right side Garland. The three. And it's Bagley with a rebound. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. To the inside. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. Washington trailing. A minute 39 left in the second period. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. Cleveland has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Takes a 13-footer. Can't get that one to go. And now just three of ten shooting. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Here's Avdia. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Kuzma for three. Drills it from deep. Kuzma's got nine. Wow, Kyle Kuzma confidently steps into that three-point opportunity. That's beautiful. Cleveland's shooting at about 44% so far. Allen with a screen on Jones. Pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. Mobley on a screen. Wing shot on the way. Garland, no good. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. So hits one and misses one at the line. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Washington's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. And here is Kuzma. 11 points for him last game against Cleveland. And on top of everything else, he did a great job of helping control the boards at both ends. Pass to Kispert for three. Gets the three ball to go. Kispert's gotten four this quarter. 
Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, we think of him as a scorer, but that was a tough target to miss. Wide open. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Wizards out in front. They're up by four. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Welcome, everybody. The Washington Wizards in our featured matchup, and what a competitive half it's been. They're running up and down the floor like they're in the schoolyard. You know what I mean, Ernie? Yeah, I do. Like lots of easy buckets, nobody getting back on D to the slow place. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep running. They're wearing these guys out. Shifting focus, let's take a look at the guys who could have a potential spot in this year's three-point contest. Oh, it's a fun event to watch and even more fun to take part in. All these guys are great shooters, but I can think of a few guys who would have been added that could have made this list better. Yeah, lots of lobbying going on behind the scenes. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's Avdia. Here's who Wes Unsell Jr. is starting in the second half. Avdia and Kuzma at the forward slots. Corey Kispert out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Bagley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Oh, Kyle Kuzma off his feet in a hurry. Nice finish. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Allen outside. Pass to Okoro. Back to Mobley. Oh, it's stolen. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. KBA, hey, well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, Brian. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Garland. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. To the paint. 
Kuzma, left side. Kispert on the wing. Four on the clock. Going inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Kispert's got 17 points. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Here's Okoro. After the basket by Washington. Another steal. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Pass to Kuzma. Three-pointer. He's rebounded by Okoro. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. On the wing, Struess. And here's Mobley. Stolen by Jones. Pass to Abdia. Now Kuzma launches a three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Inside. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, that's just tremendous length. Exceptional hands. Jared Allen, nice and easy. Now a timeout called by Washington. And in terms of assist numbers, these are the players that have stood out over the past month. Fourth, Darius Garland. His teammates trust that if they get open, he will find them. They're really in a groove right now. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Bagley, a screen on Garland. Out to Bagley. From deep. The rebound by Allen. The Cavs trailing. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. Drains the triple. Garland's got 11 points. Well, nice rise and fire from range by Darius Garland. The three-point shot so highly valued. Kuzma for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 11. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. The Wizards have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Pass to Bagley. Here's Kispert, covered by Struess. Kispert, the pass to Bagley. To the left side wing. Shot clock at five. Here's Kispert. The Wizards with another miss. Cleveland has gone seven for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyus Jones. That'll be a second foul of the game. Pass to Struess. To the inside. Here's Okoro. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Washington has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Outside Jones. Kuzma outside. Pass to Abdia. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's Allen who slams it home. Once Jared Allen 
gets rolling, this guy will keep the pressure on. He wants to be great. Washington calls timeout. And it's Jones with the ball for Washington. Pass to Bagley. Now here's Kuzma. Now here's Jones, guarded by Garland. Here's Kispert to end the drought. He's rebounded by Okoro. Outside Garland. Avdia pulls it in. Avdia's got his fifth rebound in this one. Jones, the pass to Kispert. Bagley with it. Oh, sweet move. And he lays it up and in. Bagley's got five. Here in the second half, this game's still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Now here's Garland. 11 points in the game. From outside, off the mark. For Washington, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Kuzma. Puts up a three. He's rebounded by a Coral. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Well, the unique pregame fashion sense of Kyle Kuzma always seems to be generating buzz for us. I like it, D.A. He is very tapped into the fashion world. He certainly has shown off some intriguing, shall we say, looks on his way into the building. But I am all about it. Now here's Jones. Nine points in the game. Pass to Kuzma. The rebound by Allen. And here comes Cleveland. Outpacing him right now, a 15-2 run. Mobley finds Garland. And here's Struess. Here's Okoro. Garland, the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, Jared Allen has length and athleticism, and that's an easy opportunity. Wow. Washington trailing. Now here's Jones. Pass to Avdia. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. We'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Lavert's checked in for Cleveland. Jerome comes in for Darius Garland. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving. Good shot to great. That's winning basketball. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. No good on that one. The Wizards making a switch here. Pools checked in. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. And here are the Cavaliers now. What a stretch they've got going here. 17-2. Jerome on the wing. Defended by Jones. Mobley. Just five to shoot. From downtown. Washington with a rebound. Bagley's got rebound number seven tonight. Jones with the ball. He's got nine. Avdia passes to Poole. Let's take a look at the numbers for Denny Avdia. He's stepped up his game on the boards this month. His numbers are tremendous. Hard work is really paying off, and his team loves it. And he knocks down the first one. And he makes both free throws. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 17-4 run. Here's Jerome, defended by Jones. And Mobley throws it down. Wow, 
that is some big time air time by Evan Mobley. My goodness. Here's Jones. To the middle. Here's Avdia. Crops in the layup for two. Avdia's got six. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Pass to Mobley. Now here's Struess. Mobley, a screen on pool. Here's Struess. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And they're shooting with much more confidence here in the second half. The field goal percentage is now over 50%. Poole against Struess. Now Bagley. He's got five. Pass to Kispert. On the wing, Jones. Counted from distance. 12 points for him. And even the tricky shots are falling for him right now. Cleveland has gone two for five from three since halftime. Jerome passes to Mobley. Levert outside. Poole brings a double team from deep. Struess. And it's Bagley with a rebound. Bagley's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. Pass to Bagley. For the lead. Lays it up and banks it in. Bagley's got four points in the quarter. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Now here's Levert. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. And it's Allen who slams it home. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him with the score this tight. You cannot take a chance here. The Wizards have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Poole, the pass to Bagley. Here's Kispert. He takes it in, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And looking at the 2K leaderboard now, here are the two guards who have been shooting the lights out over the last 10 games. Corey Kispert on top. It's not surprising that he's doing damage from deep. Guys at his position are asked to make this a staple of their offensive arsenal, and he's doing exactly this. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. A different look for Cleveland. Jones, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. And it's Niang in for Struess. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Cavs trailing. Here's Jerome. Allen with a screen on Jones. Pass to Niang. To the paint. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. A minute 53 left in the third quarter. Here's Koulibaly. Jones with the block. Niang outside. Puts up the eight-footer. And again, it's Cleveland converting. A minute 35 left in the third quarter. Levert goes against Poole. Holmes passes to Kispert. The kick out to Poole. Jones with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Garland's checked in for Jared Allen. 
Kuzma's checked in for Washington. Shamit comes in for Jones. One sixteen left in the third. Here's Niang. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got assist number eight here already in the game. Here's Poole. Ten points for him. Picked by Holmes. Poole shot is off. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Jerome passes to Garland. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Jones finds Garland. Down to five on the shot clock. Not going to go that time. Excellent D there from Holmes. Washington trailing. Here's Koulibaly. Misses the layup. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Outside Garland. Takes the three. And Holmes pulls it down. And here's Poole. Launches it. Look at Poole showing the range. Jared Allen getting it done for Cleveland. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. The Cavaliers leading. Damian Jones is out there with George Niang. Then it's Darius Garland. Then it's Ty Jerome. And it's Levert in at the three. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Washington shooting at about 44% so far. Shamit passes to Poole. Now Holmes. Pass to Poole. It's Shamit on the wing. And the Wizards with another three. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Here's Jerome, guarded by Poole. Now here's Garland. Pass to Niang. Let's go with a three. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. And the Cavaliers lead by two. Here's Shamit, guarded by Garland. Back to Kuzma. Out to the right wing. Here's Koulibaly. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's the teardrop. Garland, no good. Washington has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Jones with the block. And they're able to recover. Kuzma, that's good. And it's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Pass to Jones. And here's Levert. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. And it's Koulibaly with a rebound. 
he didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. All right, time for an injury report. Guys, I had a moment to catch up with the Cavaliers head athletic trainer. They're treating it as a very serious injury. Early indications are that it's a broken shoulder. And the timing of this injury hurts right in the middle of the schedule. Let's hope it's a quick recovery. BA? All right, Allie, thank you. Sadly, that's not the news fans were hoping for, guys. Definitely not. Seems like he's got a long, tough road ahead of him. And our hearts go out to him. The guy works so hard. His teammates love him. Coaches love him. He's going to be missed. And Washington has possession. Following the score by Cleveland. Here's Koulibaly. He's checked by Levert. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Drops it first. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Bagley's checked in. No good on the second free throw. For Cleveland, they've gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. Niang, the pass to Garland. Connects from downtown. And the Cavaliers lead by 4. That's his third triple of the night. His second since halftime. Bagley, a screen on Garland. Here's Shamit. Banked it in off the glass. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Pass to Garland. Mobley on a screen. There's the triple. The rebound by the Wizards. Here's Koulibaly. Cool outside. Kuzma outside. Here's Shamit. Sinks it from distance. Boy, smart decision from Kuzma right there. Skilled getting the basketball to his teammate. So it's the Cavaliers now. They trail by one. Mobley on a screen. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. Allen comes in for Jones, and it's Struess in for Levert. Nie, right side, from deep, Mobley. Struess the pass to Mobley. And here's Nie, five on the clock. And the three off target. Here's Kispert. Pass to Jones. Bagley, a screen on Garland. Jones drives in. Kuzma outside. Kispert on the wing from behind the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The 
The Cavaliers making a switch here. Levert's checked in. And Mobley has got the ball here for the Cavaliers. They lead by one. Levert passes to Garland. And Allen gets it to go on the assist by Garland. Allen's got 20. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Here's Bagley following the score by Cleveland. Pass to Kispert. Here's Kuzma. Back to Kispert. Over Struess. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. Cleveland has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Struess finds Garland. The rebound by the Wizards. Kuzma's got 11 rebounds in the game. Avdia passes to Jones. Jones with a screen on Allen. Pass to Kispert. Back to Kuzma. Shot clock at six. The Wizards with another miss. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Allen with it, and it's Kuzma picking him up. Outside for Levert. 4-3, and the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Jones with the ball. Pass to Bagley. Kuzma outside. Bagley, a screen on Mobley. Kuzma drives in. Ooh, Lavert with some nice D. The Cavaliers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Garland for three. Obdia pulls it in. Obdia's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Kuzma, the pass to Kispert. Jones against Garland. On the attack, Bagley. Pass to Kispert. It's Avdia on the wing. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Garland against Jones. Mobley, a screen on Jones. Here's Garland. On target from about 13 feet. Garland's got seven points here in the quarter. You can see the increasing confidence of putting the ball in Darius Garland's hand and letting him play out of pick and roll. On the wing, Jones. Guarded by Garland. Garland against Jones. The Wizards with another miss. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Bagley. And Jones, good for three. That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? The Cavaliers have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Garland against Jones. Down low. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Boy, what else is new? This guy's accuracy this quarter has been phenomenal. Washington trailing. Now Jones. Jones with a screen on Mobley. Back to Jones. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. What a nice individual defensive effort right there. Did a great job contesting. Out to Mobley. Fires the three. And it's Bagley with the rebound. Well, the Wizards shooting only 42%. Kuzma finds Jones. Now here's Bagley. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. And he's now got the double-double.
Oh, massive three-point shot. I mean, you can tell he wants to step up for his team in crunch time. Yeah, and when he gets going, he adds another dimension to their offense that can make a huge difference when the game's on the line. Now here's Garland. Mobley outside. Outside Garland. And stolen by Bagley. Here's Obdia. The shot off that time. Ooh, Lavert with some nice D. From deep, Struce. Knocked loose. And they'll get another chance. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyus Jones. That's his third foul of the game. Second chance effort. Tries yet again. Allen can't get it to go. The Wizards shooting the ball at only 35% here in the fourth quarter. Avdia passes to Kispert. Stolen by Mobley. Out on his own on the break. And he lays it in on the break. And the Cavaliers lead by six. That's what you call great instincts and being opportunistic on the defensive end. Nice steal by Mobley. Garland against Jones. Pass to Kuzma. Bagley is screen on Mobley. Kuzma, the pass to Bagley. And another miss by Washington. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, we'd like to see him knock that one down. Struce with it. Defended by Kuzma. Garland for three. They grab their own miss. And it's Allen who slams it home. Oh, this guy's such a reliable presence on the glass. Jared Allen using that length to save the play. Now a timeout called by Washington. They're down by eight. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter here. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Wes Unsell Jr. had to say to his team. And it wasn't a very happy huddle. Coach told the team, quote, we need to be better with the ball. We're committing too many turnovers. It's hurting us. Back over to you, Brian. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Kuzma. Counted from distance. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. Kyle Kuzma stepping up and getting it done. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. Allen with a screen on Jones. Garland, the pass to Allen. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It'll be on Marvin Bagley. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. And he's able to hit the second one. And that increases the lead to six. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter. And here is Kuzma. On the take. Mobley grabs the board. Outside Garland. From deep, Struce. Rebound by the Wizards. You know, I think it's desperation time for them. I'll tell you, you need absolute perfection on every possession. That's what it's going to take here. Now here's Kuzma. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, you love to see Kyle Kuzma balance that jump shooting with his willingness to put it on the deck and draw contact. First free throw is good. And that brings him within five. hits them both and those were big shots at this point in the game you can't afford to leave any points at the line 
A chance here to possibly put the game away. They have to remain focused to get it done. And now we've got an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. Well, it's no secret, guys, that Karis LeVert can flat-out score the basketball. I think the key for him moving forward just become more and more efficient because the ability is there. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free-throw line. Add to your lead. Now here's Jones. Hagley passes to Jones. Off the mark there with a three. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Timeout called. The Wizards. They're losing by seven. 20 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Your thoughts, guys? Now, it's an opportunity for a teaching moment. I'm sure Coach will waste no time making his points. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And here's Kispert from the arc. And it's good! They trail by just four. And the Cavs with possession. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. So the first one drops. And that puts him up five. And he's unable to get the second one. Jones from outside. Levert with a rebound. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a seven-point game. There's six seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Avdia from outside. That shot off. And so it's Cleveland winning this one. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Jared Allen.